Hi all, uh, welcome to this session. Now in this session we would be looking at how to create a purchase requisition. Now um, when we are talking about procurement, procurement can be done through a variety of the documents like it could be a purchase requisition, it could be a purchase order, it could be like a scheduling agreement or, or an outline agreement. Outline agreement again could be further subdivided into different kind of agreements. All these in SAP, they are differentiated on the base of the doc types. Now what we are going to do is, uh, we will see how to create a purchase requisition in this session. So for that, let's go through the menu path. It's logistics. Under logistics is material management, material management purchasing. Then you have purchase requisition and then you have the create. Now here if you look at it is ME51N, ME51N is basically the purchase requisition creation. So what I'm going to do is just double click on this. Now this will take us to purchase requisition creation main screen. Now here you can see that you have different kind of fields that needs to be entered so i'm not going to enter any kind of header notes but if you want you can always enter here different kind of text are there line editor sap script editor continuous text editor if you want you can give something uh, this is a test purchase requisition Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter the material for that uh, let me pick up a material first now uh, quantity let us say that it is 100 plant let's say 1000 storage location let's say BRAW okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press enter now and you can see it has already picked up all the things but it says document type NB not allowed with document category B please check input okay NB is basically for purchase order but if you look at the purchase requisition the document type is a different one but again here we have picked up the details you can see that everything is picked up now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to save this small spelling mistake sorry okay so I'm going to save this and you can see here that the purchase requis requisition number has been created now you can see purchase requisition number this one has been created okay so let's go stroke me 53 and i just want to see if it has been created properly so this is for the display part you can see here 430430 430, this is our r1 our yeah now this is a 2001 this was the main one this is a purchase requisition that we have created now you can see here that it has picked up this is a test purchase requisition so it has picked up all the details as such now quantity dates or valuation all the fields are picked up so this is how you would be creating now the option is either you can go for a purchase order from a purchase requisition or you can uh, what you can do is you can release if you have a release strategy in place then you need to release the purchase requisition first but that is again uh, it depends on the business to business scenario and from business to business it variates so this is how it was uh, to be create, uh, created um, please do watch please, if you like please do subscribe to our channel um, so that we can keep you updated with the latest videos thank you so much for watching this video